what's up youtube welcome to this video so the video is about how we can get data from firebase real-time database into a select element so to do that i have saved these countries inside the database and uh, first we will get these countries inside a select statement and then based on the selected country we will get the cities which are saved like this there are cities saved as an array so these are objects that are saved with indexes so it works like an array so let's start coding so first the basic structure now we will define label country select which will have an id of country input and just one option which is gonna be select so the default option cities input and this will also have a select option let's put some basic CSS so now configuration from the firebase app so in the project settings there is our firebase app so copy the basic configuration from here remove all the comments then we need another import statement to get the other function from the database now let's get the references now let's create the function get countries and we will define a constant we didn't define the db get database after the import now constant db ref equals to ref and db now i will use the get function and inside that the child function which takes db ref as the first argument and the path as the second so countries slash dot then so then requires a function as an argument which will take a countries so we are receiving countries if countries exist countries dot well so this is the way to get the array of countries then map the array in the form of options so to do that we use the map function and inside the map we have to define a function country and we are mapping the values of the country in the form of an option so document dot create element we are creating an option and its value is gonna be country and its inner text or inner HTML will also be country so this will receive an array of the country name and this will map each country as an option to the select tag so in the end the country input will be added with the new option 
and we have a property disabled which we will turn which we will assign false this means that enable the select at default these both will be disabled so when the when we are finished getting the data then we will enable this select so that the user can select the country and we will add window dot add event listener load so on load get countries so we will get the countries on page load then let's create another function to get the to get the cities so the cities plus the country input dot value so we will get the city of the selected country and change this to cities here here and then we will also empty the city input so the city input dot inner html will be blank and we will disable the city input at the beginning and when the cities are loaded then then we will enable the cities input so now let's try uh, let's check it out but before that we also have to add another event which is countries input dot add event listener and this time the change event will trigger get cities so whenever a country is selected the change means the value is changed so another uh, country is selected then get the cities of that country and we will also change the list so this time we are appending the cities input list i i will do an uh, just one thing which is we have this initial select option so when emptying the city input i will put this option as a default option so we are not clearing the input but we are setting the default option so now let's check this out so the countries are ready let's select pakistan so the cities are ready so the cities within pakistan now let's select india so now it's showing the indian cities usa and now it's showing the cities within usa So this is all for the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel. See you next time.